Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to pass connection string from parent package to child package using parameters. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can pass the connection string from parent package to the child package. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Kishore and he said that we need to for example set the database connection in the parent package using the package configuration and in the parent package create a variable and assign the connection string and use that variable in all child packages and then I got a question from another subscriber tax guide telugu that make a video on the parameters creating in SSIS so I thought to make a video on this one so in this particular video I will create a parent package and in the parent package I will declare a project parameter and will assign the connection string value to the project parameter and will make the connection dynamic and then I will use those connection string using the project parameter into the child packages and then I will change the value of the connection string in the SQL connection using the parameters from the parent package those are passed to the child packages so let's see how we can do that so let's jump to the demo on my SQL server I have two instances SQL server 2019 instance and then I got the SQL server 2017 instance so in the SQL Server 2019 instance I got a work database and in the SQL Server 2017 database as well I got the work database. So what I will do uh, I will be using this test SQL Server table that it has the ID as an identity field then it has a package name column then connection string column and the dated value. So what I will do so I will insert a record from each package like from parent package, from child1 package, from child2 package ok. So the parent package will point to the SQL Server 2019 instance so a record should be inserted to the SQL Server 2019 instance but the child packages will initially point to the SQL Server 2017 instance. So a record with the package name will be inserted along with the connection string into the SQL Server 2017 instance and then I will change the connection string value from the parent package to the child package so in the end all records will be inserted to the SQL Server 2019 instance because the connection string value will change to the SQL Server 2019 from SQL Server 2017 so let's see how we can do that so this is my blank SSIS package and first of all let me just rename the package to maybe parent and if I go to the properties of the package, the package name, so package name is parent, so that is good. Now first of all, let me just create the parameter connection string here. So if you see there is an option here, parameter. So this is the package parameters which can be used inside this package only. So I can click on this parameters and then I can click on add. So I will call my parameter as p connection string and the data type will be string because I want to store the connection string here yeah so this is my package parameter and let me go to the control flow and let me just create a new connection here OLEDB connection which will insert a record to the SQL Server 2019 instance so I will select this connection here and I can click on OK and now from this particular connection let me get the connection string so if I click on this one and if on the right side you will find the connection string here so what you can do you can just simply copy everything from here and then you can go to the parameters and you can paste it here so this is the connection string and which will be passed to the OLEDB connection manager okay so this is pointing to the SQL Server 2019 instance and the database name is the work database okay so now what I can do I can go back to the control flow and then so if you click on this OLEDB connection manager so on the right side there is an option expressions so if you click on these three dots there is a connection string property yeah this one so what you can do inside the connection string property you can assign the value from the package parameter p connection string okay and then you can click on evaluate expression so now the connection string property will be assigned from the package parameter this one p connection manager so if you will change the value of the p connection manager then the value of the OLEDB connection will also got changed okay so that's the one thing that I have done now let me just open the toolbox here 
and uh, drag and drop the execute SQL task into the control flow window and maybe I can call it as insert data and let me insert a record into the SQL server table so this is my SQL server table test so let me insert a record into this one insert into test yeah I can write like select ID is an identity field so it doesn't need any input from our side then we got the package name so yeah it will be package name I will insert using the system variable so that in future if the package name changes then this value will change automatically as well and now we got the connection string here and then dated value will come from the get date function which will return you the current date time okay so I can copy this query from here and then I can just configure the execute SQL task under connection I will select the connection here and and I will write the select query in the expression so if you write SQL statement source here so you can write your query here so you need to put a double quote paste the query and the double quote and I will share this insert query with you so that you can use it in your SSIS package if you want now we need to replace this package name so we need to put a double quote plus plus double quote now uh, you need to just drag and drop the package name system variable here so that it can insert the package name now under connection string you need to put a double quote plus plus double quote and then you need to drag and drop the package parameter p connection string here and now you can click on evaluate expression so this seems good and uh, I can click on ok 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 so I have configured my parent SSIS package successfully that a parameter has been declared and uh, it can insert a record and the SQL connection has been made as dynamic as well so now let me do one thing that let me create a child SSIS package as well so let me copy this particular package paste it here and I will call this particular SSIS package as child1 yes to all okay if you click on the control flow window for the child one and if you check the properties of the package in the properties the name of the package is still parent so you can change it to child one okay uh, maybe I can just remove the space from child one yeah although it won't matter but yeah that's fine so I change the package name and now this is the connection here okay so the first thing that I will do I will go to the parameters and I will change the name of the parameter to the connection string and I will also change the value as well so the value of the connection string should be 2017 because it will point to the 2017 and then I will show you if I execute the child package directly then it should point to the SQL Server 2017 and it should insert a record into the SQL Server 2017 otherwise if I execute the child package from parent package and if I pass the value of the connection string from parent package to the child package then the connection string it should point to the SQL Server 2019 instance ok so let me go to the control flow and uh, I can just change the name as well to 2017 here if I go to the expressions so I can just point it to connection string as well and if I click on evaluate expression so now it is pointing to the SQL Server 2017 instance and I can click on OK if I right click and just click on edit so it should point to the SQL Server 2017 instance so this is good I can click on OK so this is my one child package now let me just make a copy of this package again and create a child 2 package ok so that I can show you two packages two child packages ok I can click on ok so this is fine now if you check the parameters so it is pointing to the 2017 so that is good so we should be fine here there is one thing that I need to check the name of the package so the name of the package is child 2 so that is good as well so I think we are fine here so let me show you for example this is the child 1 package ok and let me go back to the SSMS and this is pointing to the SQL Server 2017 instance 
So if I show you the data in the in the SQL Server table, so right now the table is empty. Okay. If I execute the child one package from here, then it should insert a record into the SQL Server 2017 instance. Okay, so it, it got filled. Yeah, I got it. Why it is failed? Because uh, in the insert query, it is still pointing to the P connection string parameter, but here we have the connection string in the child packages. So I can click on OK. So this is fine. Let me make the same change in the child two package as well. That uh, the package parameter name is connection string. I have just made the names different so that I can identify the P connection string is the package parameter of the parent package and the connection string is the package parameter of the child packages okay so now let me re-execute the child one package again and this time it should be successful yeah so it ran fine so let me go back to the SQL server management studio and let me try to find the data from the test table so there should be one record okay so you can see that we have one record from child one package and the connection string is pointing to the SQL Server 2017 instance and that's why it inserted a record in this table. Otherwise it should have inserted a record into the SQL Server 2019 instance if the connection was pointing to the 2019 instance. Okay. And now same way let me try to execute the child two package as well and it should also insert a record into the SQL Server 2017 instance. So let me open the SSMS and try to rerun the query again. So you can see that another record got inserted here and this record came from the child2 package. So this is working fine. Okay. Now let me just configure the parent package and pass the value of the connection string from parent package to the child package and then let's see how it will behave. So let me stop the execution of the package and open the parent package and now in the parent package let me just drag and drop the two execute package task okay just to call the child one and child two packages you know i can also use a for each loop container and then in the loop i can just pass the name of the ssis package from a parameter i also created a video like how to call the child packages dynamically in ssis so you can find the video on my channel where i have executed multiple ssis package using the for each loop container through a single execute package task but in this particular video to make the video shorter and simple i'm just using the two execute packages task and the first execute package task will actually call child one and the another package will call child two okay child child two so let me just connect the insert data with, with the execute package task and let me configure the first execute package task here if you click on the package so in the reference type it is selected as project reference so this so this is good now package name from project reference so we need to select the package the package that we want to execute so i want to execute child one package here and now if you click on the parameter binding so this is the most important task of this particular video that what you need to do you need to click on add and then from the binding parameter you need to select the local package parameter so the package parameter is p connection string this is from the parent package and now inside the child package parameter you need to select the parameter here so the my parameter name is connection is string so that's why it has selected the connection string automatically so you can click on ok same way you can connect the execute package task with another execute package task and then you can configure the child to package as well from under package name from project reference you can select the child to package and now you can click on the parameter bindings and you can click on add so it has automatically selected the p connection string from the parent package and connection string parameter because this is the only package parameter inside the child to package so it is selected this particular package parameter automatically so you can click on ok so our package is ready and inside the sql server to the 19 instance so at the moment the test table is empty and now let me just execute the parent package So the parent package ran fine and it has called the child package as well both packages child1 and child2 and now let me check the data again. So there should be three records inserted into the SQL Server 2019 instance. So now you can see that three records got inserted and the child1 package was pointing to the SQL Server 2017 instance if you see here 
but when I call it from the parent package and I pass the value of the connection string from parent package to the child package so the connection string of the child packages got changed as well and then earlier they were pointing to the SQL Server 2017 instance but now they are pointing to the SQL Server 2019 instance the value of the connection string got changed and that's why the connection got changed as well so this is the connection string so now all three packages are pointing to the SQL Server 2019 instance so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much